Hello and welcome to Atlanta's Up and Rising. Here we are going to look at some of our up and coming wonderful superstars that are on the rise, honey. I'm your host. I am Demetrius Big Meats Taylor, honey. You can reach anything about me at www.dishingtea.com. But you know, this is not about me, baby. Right now, honey, I am going to introduce to some and present to others this young man here. I immediately became an instant fan, honey, when I went to his YouTube page, honey, and I caught this child singing a cappella. A cappella. Now, you know that they call skills anyway. But not only that, dealing with him and his talent. When we get into him and you realize who he is, and he has no choice but to be talented, I am going to welcome to the program today, this is the one and only Mr. Sean Black. What's up, player? How you doing, man? I'm hey, good. I'm hey, good. I am everything <laughs> and everything is me. I am so glad that we got you here because, man, <laughs> okay, y'all got to understand, so y'all know the kids work me, right? Now, you know, just before we started taping, huh, this child started singing. <laughs> okay, and it's all just infused all in my, all just up in here, and I can't stand it. And then you see, I got on this cute little, the, the, the sweater is cute, but I'm into this thing, <laughs> and he just got me tingling over here, and I'm, 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 I'm in a zone. But I want you guys to really get into this. So, Sean, baby, 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 what's up, big meat? <laughs> Everything, honey. I want. To first say, let me say thank you for coming on. Of thank course, thank you for having me. Well, of course, I appreciate you know it a what? lot. With everything that I am coming into with you, uh -huh. we have no choice. Okay, we have yeah. we just we have no choice. <laughs> you fit the bill of what we are. We are Atlanta's up and rising, and you just fit that bill. So we have no choice. At the same time, you are here on your own merit, yeah. and that there is what is so fascinating for me mm -hmm. because, ladies and gentlemen, so I can stop teasing you, <laughs> uh, Mr. Sean Black here happens to be, I call, he's my adopted nephew because for those of y'all, those y'all who know me, y'all know Selena Johnson is my sister. That's my sister. That's okay, Jay. That's my sister. That's my sister. And Mr. Sean Black here just happens to be her nephew. This is her elder sister, Celette's uh, son here. So uh, coming into the business and having such a rich family background, let's just go right there at the beginning, honey. Tell us your beginnings of wanting to be into this world we know as show. <laughs> well, I mean, my first taste of wanting to be in the industry was coming from a young, young child. Mm -hmm. And you can hear from Lena's mouth. Mm -hmm. Let me say Selena Johnson. She's famous. <laughs> she famous. I can't call her Lena while I'm on TV. <laughs> but um, it came from being young and seeing her so serious about the music mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. She would come home and be on vocal rest and have a pen and pad and write her statements out. And I, and I would love that because it's like, I would be like, why are you doing this? She'd be like, I got to sing. And she would write it out. I got to sing. And I'd be like, man. I really want to be at your caliber because I see her with the R. Kelly's. I see her with the Jive and with the major labels. And since she was a young child, mm -hmm. making her own songs and making her own way, not even just because of her features, mm -hmm. but just her own way. I used to come in the room and sing for mm -hmm. all of my aunties and all of my mom and my grandma. I would, I would sing um, that Brian McKnight song that one, just like a dream come true, two, just want to be with you. Come on, boys. I told you don't be working, man. No. I would sing that to them and they would be Ooh. like oh well look go fix this note and go fix this note and I would run back and uh -huh. go fix them notes uh -huh. and come uh -huh. back and sing again and it just it just excited me to to have that satisfaction of them liking my voice mm -hmm. and making people happy that 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 just started me off liking my industry mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it my industry because it is huh. the industry as a whole okay, okay. so yeah right that's, that's what started me off all right now you know what let me go here because listening to your aunt and see, one of the, you just worked me for that, for writing this stuff down. I'm sitting up there saying to myself, <laughs> Lord, I need to learn that. I need to learn that. Just get a piece of paper. Mm. <laughs> Read the paper. Okay. I really, <laughs> I really need to learn how to do that. But listening to her and also uh, with the history of your grandfather, Mr. Seal Johnson, blues singer Seal yes. Johnson, honey. Yes. Okay. Having that rich history. You know, is it easy for you to separate yourself to come out as Sean Black, not just Seal Johnson's grandson, not just Selena Johnson's 
nephew. How is that for you to to separate yourself? Well, I mean, it's always going to be there because mm -hmm. it's my background. Exactly. It's a part of who I am. Mm -hmm. As far as escaping their light mm -hmm. to have my own shine, mm -hmm. I don't want to steer away from it. This oh. is a family business. We keep it you here. You better work me for that. <laughs> you better work me for that. If, if my auntie's here, I'm there. If uh -huh. my grandfather's there, I'm there. Uh -huh. I want it to be like that. I want it to every. I want everybody to see mm -hmm. that this is a family business. We don't stray away from each other. As as far as you've seen the fix my life thing, I know mm -hmm. you've seen it. Mm -hmm. No matter what problems we go through, we are still a family mm -hmm. and we are still connected in some way. Now, as far as getting my own light, you know, because everybody has their own shining points, you know, right, Selena right. had her own shining points. I am going to get that. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I want everybody to know this is my family and I'm coming from a place that they were coming from. Mm -hmm. We all have the same troubles. We all had the same problems. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. some were a little greater, but we all had the same problems living in the same household. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to escape the light of mm -hmm. them, but I want to further bright the light. I want to make sure that that light is still shining. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a, you got the torch at the uh, uh, Olympic Games, come right? On now, come and, on. And, and you got to pass the torch to somebody uh -huh. at one point. Selena is still doing her thing. And at one point, that torch is going to get lit by me. And I'm going to run to the top of that hill. Come on and, now. Uh, boy. And, and I'm going to shine all of them lights. And it's just yeah. going to be a bright, a bright situation. I say, <laughs> do not Work me. <laughs> Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? I said don't work me. Okay. <laughs> wow. See, you know what? I'm sitting up here. I, my eyes is tearing up and carrying on because I am living for you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Because, th th you know, this is the first time that I've actually heard somebody actually say this is the family business and it's interesting choice of words because it, you know before we started recording we, we were all discussing uh in the in the green room of things about understanding when you take away the bling and this that and the other we all have this my family was in the car industry this family was in this industry your family's in this industry my family is in the music industry mm -hmm. this is the family business. I am so living for you for that. You just work <laughs> me for that. Okay. So having the family business, and then you mentioned the, the whole, the Iyana Van Zandt piece. Mm -hmm. How are you adjusting to um, coming into the, the, the fame of it all, the popularity of it all, you know, because that light is shining and it's shining brightly on not just the good and the bad, but that ugly in the middle that don't nobody want to mm -hmm. talk about. How is it that you adjust well to that? Well, I'm gonna, I want to first say that, that show, it touched me mm -hmm. in a place because all of that was so real. Mm -hmm. And if you think it was fake and set up, no, mm -hmm. you're very wrong because all of that is real. Mm -hmm. It's so real. When I saw my grandmother cry, I was at home crying mm. because I knew in that place, my grandmother's the strongest person I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. She's never cried, never done any of that. And when she cried, it just hit me like, it's okay to cry. Because mm -hmm. I've always had that same mentality like, I ain't gonna cry, right. I'm gonna cry, Psh, don't cry. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was, I came from a family that don't cry. Mm -hmm. I came from a family that was famous to segue into that. Mm -hmm. I came from a family that was famous. I'm not scared of the light. I'm not afraid to be in fame. My mama always told me, if it's a crowd of people, do you. Go ahead and do you and be confident in doing you. Mm -hmm. Don't be upset if they don't like you either because some people are just haters. And some people are not just gonna like your music. Some people just don't like certain music. Right. I don't like certain people's music and they're great artists. I just, you know, it's not my taste. Mm -hmm. But somebody out there, you're gonna touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're confident, and if you show your skills the right way and in the right light, somebody out there is gonna like you and you're gonna touch somebody's heart. You're gonna inspire somebody to do something. Just like I've, just like I've been inspired by somebody to do something. I didn't come out of nowhere and say, let me do this music. I was inspired by my family, by my friends. I was inspired by the artists that came before me, the Sam Cooks, the Otis Reddins, the Seal Johnsons, the Marvin Gaye's, all of those people. I was inspired, you know? So it's all about not being afraid of the fame. Mm -hmm. It's how I control being in the fame mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. ugly and the bad and the good and the very pretty and the terrible. I'm embracing it 
because that's life. People uh, are human. Uh. People are so human that, <laughs> and some people that, that, that act like they're not human, you know, they just fake it. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> they just fake it because they don't really want to be human. Right. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, well, wait a minute. You know, let me put my disclaimer here because I'm one of those people that can't stand my humanity because I want to be a spiritual girl. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, okay, okay. Back but but to that's you. the human in you. That's right. the human in you. Uh-huh. We we have free will to do whatever we want. Right, if right, you want right. to be a beautiful girl, then that's who you want to be. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's who you want to be. I'm not going to, nobody's going to stop you. Right. And, and, and they shouldn't hate on you either. Mm-hmm. But that's just because they have their own insecurities. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And, and you are so secure in your life you that you want to be that. And you proud to say that. Oh, please, I'm 43 and, and counting, honey. And proud. And proud. Inspire okay. somebody that wants to well, do you, that. And, and, and now that there is, I like the word inspire. And so you, you didn't hit a whole, Boy, if I did not know <laughs> you, I'm sitting up here listening to you, I, and, I, and what went through my mind was, if I did not know this cat was real, child, I would swear he was a con artist, honey, because he's so smooth. <laughs> he's so smooth with this. It is, it's giving me goosebumps, because particularly when I hear young folks in your, you see, I, I'm in my 40s, you know, our parents, well, your, our parents, my parents. Lord, me and, you, me and your parents are the same age. <laughs> But, you know, having our generation, you know, look to you, because y- y'all are babies, you know, to hear since come out of your mouth, honey, when I find that, honey, it just absolutely floors me, because I'm like, Lord, there is somebody out here that got the babies, honey, the babies, and when I'm sitting up here waiting to, waiting to sit on my porch in my rocket chair, I can be secure knowing that I don't have to put my rocket chair down and go back out here on this picket line, because <laughs> we got folks out here that's ready to do this particularly in the business of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Let me go here, because now that you are forging your way on, Mm -hmm. you know this business, and I I ask this question often because I love getting the responses, and that there, Mm -hmm. this business is sex, drugs, rock and roll. Okay. This business is is. buffoonery, (laughs) and this business is, you know, basically cutting a fool. Okay, right now, it's it buff- right buffoonery now. and cutting a fool because a lot of folks will do the buffoonery for the attention, but then they will cut a fool, you know, to keep it real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How do you keep yourself grounded and keep your integrity intact? Well, it was a point in my life where I was a part of that buffoonery and buffoonery and the foolery and the jokes and the lies and all of this uh-huh. and the sex and the drugs. I was into that because that's my generation. Like you said, mm-hmm. this, this is what we've been shown, though. You know, Come on. these these um, artists that came before us, some of the artists that came before us, we we imitate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, we we can't forge their signatures. Right. So so one day it's just gonna come into light and, and somebody's gotta tell the truth. Somebody's mm-hmm. gotta be mm-hmm. real. And what helped me be real was New York. Uh, now I'm from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And, and I went to New York, Salisha. Dr. Salisha Thompson, just just to, just to know doctor, that. Say doctor, girl, he got you. Selena you. Johnson's manager, might I add, in the family <laughs> business, you know, keep that in there. But um, it's about, you know, it was about like going to New York and how Salisha took me under her wing and um, she put me in school for marketing. And, and that was a big thing because that's in the industry. You got to know how they market. I was in mm-hmm. project management. I was in marketing classes. I was in even like ethic classes. I was mm-hmm. I was doing a lot. And I never thought that I could go to school in New York. I never thought that I would be in a, a, a college like that, a private college, mm-hmm. you know, dorm. I never thought that was for me because I'm from Chicago. And mm-hmm. I always thought like, man, I might not even make it to 25 mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of the just just not even if even if I wasn't in that type of crowd, I might right. not make it to 25 just right. because. Right the life that they live in Chicago, and I'm around it. But what changed me from that is going to New York, being in there, I had a roommate, his name was Elijah, and he was a rapper, and he was so sane. <laughs> he was so like New York mm-hmm. that I just adapted and and adopted some of the traits that he had. You know, he was, he was so uh, inspirational to me because he wasn't with the gang. Oh. He wasn't with the drugs. Dig it, dig it. And he still was doing music. And I was like, dang, let me do music like that. 
And then I met somebody named Shaquille. Uh, his rap name is Trizzy. He does music as well. He was a part of this group called Regime, which I'm a part of as well. Mm -hmm. And they do inspirational music. Mm. And, and it's mostly, uh, mostly, um, it's mostly about about God mm -hmm. and how it's touching kids. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I figure like, dang, if I got a little brother or a little sister, or even I got nieces and nephews that. I gonna listen, see me one day, mm -hmm. and if mm -hmm. I'm talking about drugs and popping Molly and this girl and that girl, and they gonna want to do that because that's what I did. I, I saw older cats like, oh man, they in a club, they got the girls, they got the money, they got the cars. I wanna be that. But then I, I, I mm -hmm. took another, I took another plane trip and said, let me, let me go ahead and uh, explore this region. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I did, and then not just the region of the world, but the region of inspirational music opposed to the the secular the, radio play mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I said, let me be a part of Regime. They they came to me about a year and a half ago and they was like, yo, we want you to be a part of us because okay. we see the route that you're going. And it at that time at that time I was I was kinda like going on the right path. And they was like, we want to help you and guide you. Mm -hmm. So that's what kept me to that instead of going towards another route mm -hmm. you know the, the sex mm -hmm. and the drugs and the money and the lies and the and it, like i said you, you can't forge a signature for too long okay okay, <laughs> okay so you can't fake the funk baby you can't, ah. you can't. so i okay. mean that, that's what kept me though that's what kept me away from that okay. regime kept me away from that mostly mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. all right well shout out to regime regime baby. regime <laughs> All right. Now coming into this, you're working on your project and carrying on. Everything matters. Just to say that everything matters. Everything That's the name of the project. Matters. Everything matters. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I, wow. Okay. Um. Damn. That that, that just hit me. <laughs> okay. No, I'm having a prophetic moment. That's I'm telling all. you my story and yeah, how everything, everything really does matter. That, that just that just <laughs> did me. Okay. Um. What is the message of Sean Black in this project? What is it that you want the world to understand about you? Well, when they hear the project, they're gonna hear my story. Mm -hmm. So what I want to project and what I want to let people know is that you could come from your situation, but that one little thing that you do, like take a flight to New York, can change your whole life. It can change your whole path, it can change what you thought was your path and put you on God's path. Mm. That's why everything matters. I did one thing. I I did a whole bunch of stuff before that, mm -hmm. but I went to jail. I got suspended in school a lot. I had girl problems. I was doing this with drugs and that, and I had all of this stuff in my life that just wasn't leading me the right way. And then I went through all of that for some reason. But then I took that one plane trip and said, my auntie said, you come out, to, you, you, you graduate from high school, I'm gonna bring you out to New York. I said, oh man, that's too easy. Oh, you sounded just like her too. <laughs> <That's> too <easy. laughs> okay. I came out there, that one plane trip was, was the everything that mattered. It, mm -hmm. That was everything in that one moment. Mm -hmm. Everything mattered at that one moment. I said, I gotta graduate high school. I gotta go out to New York because mm -hmm. that's what's gonna put me on my right path. And it's things in there about that. It's things in there about my mother. It's things in there about God. It's things in there about my women problems. It's things in there about Chicago and how you need to stop this violence because mm -hmm. it's going on too long now. And it's it's a lot of things. And you know how people have like one soul uh, uh, objective on a project. Right, right, right. You know, right. they always say like, oh, this is a uh, passion, pain, and pleasure. And how Lena had, um, uh, she got this new new album coming out, Couples Therapy, you know, mm -hmm. so it's it's strong with your objective on your album. You you push that, but I didn't have something like that. Mm -hmm. I had a whole bunch of songs, and I was just like, dang, what am I calling? I was in the room with my auntie, Salisha. She was like, I don't know, like, what matters to you? And I was like, everything. Wow, okay. And she was like, that's what you should call your mixtape. And I was like, word, we got it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I've been looking for a name forever. We got it? I was like, yeah. Yeah, quickly. Like, okay. Like, that everything matters, though. Everything matters. That's what I want to show people. I want to show them that everything really does matter and that you need to pay attention to your life from a young age. And you don't have to go through the things that I went through. You don't have to go through the things that some people went through just to make it to where you want to go. All right. Diggity boom. <laughs> now, okay, now, before we let you go ahead on and give us uh, 
this way, child. Oh, this boyfriend girl sent chills at me. I already know it because he done did it already. <laughs> I'm finna go to introduce you on stage with any and everybody who either you're going to record with, want to record with, should have recorded with, you want to perform with, and this, uh, this is the, the premiere show. It is Sean Black and who? Sean Black and, and God. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Sean okay. Black and God. Sean Black and God. Okay, now who do who would you like to perform with? Who is it that you want to see working with? Who is it that you want to see? Uh, I mean, I I want people you know. to come to me. I I don't really have a favorite that I want to work with, mm. but uh, I would love to see me and Selena on stage together. God, you know what, boy? I'm okay. Don't <laughs> you make me nervous? Okay. Oh, don't you make me? Cause that girl there just sends me. That was, that was the thing I said on your YouTube page, honey. When I heard you, I said, <laughs> Yo, I appreciate that, though. I was wondering who that was. Comment, I was like, oh, man. I was like, yeah, I need that to happen. I need Selena to see this comment. Oh, darling, <laughs> I told her that. I told her. I said, uh-uh. No, one no, no, day, no. though. One day, though. It I'm, happened I'm preparing. I'm preparing At the for that. right time, mm -hmm. at the right moment, everything, because everything matters now. Everything matters. And it's the family business. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and God, God going to allow it to happen. You know, he, he, he never he worked too fast, but he always on time. So, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I'm gonna look this way. I'm looking this way because I tell you, y'all keep working me. Okay. He don't work too fast, but he work on time. Okay. So now, let everybody know where they can find you, uh, you know, all of your, your social media pages and this, that, and the other, right. so that, that we can prepare as you're preparing this project to get ready to drop. Where can we find you? So, yo, you can reach me at ReverbNation.com slash SeanBlack92. And my Instagram is SeanBlacksWorld, S-E-A-N-B-L-A-C-K-S-W-O-R-L-D. And Twitter is the same thing as my Instagram. Just look me up on Facebook at SeanBlack. And my SoundCloud as well is SoundCloud.com slash SeanBlack92. All righty Get at then. me. Okay. <laughs> Baby, I listen, I'm telling y'all, it does my heart so beautifully when I have young brothers, you know, who got their mind right, you know, and they come. It, uh, I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm just I'm really having a moment. <laughs> so and I get excited for those of y'all who know me. Y'all know how I get because I'm, I'm about real bouncy right about now. And I left my chocolate at home. Damn. Uh, <laughs> okay. But uh, I want to just say I am so looking forward to everything to come on out. I, I am just enjoying your company. I am enjoying your spirit. I am enjoying you. And I am hearing the process of all of your lessons coming into this moment and taking you into the man you are to become mm -hmm. because I'm digging the man you are now. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I can't wait to see the man that you are to become. Okay, I, boy, <laughs> oh, with, okay, okay, Thank I can't you. say that, enough. I appreciate it though, I, I definitely can't appreciate say enough. it. I can't say enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna let you bless the world, honey, and bless these children, mm, the children. Okay, with this melodious voice that I've been basking about forever. <laughs> and we figure you do your thing. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am introducing to some and presenting to others. This is the one and only Mr. Sean. Yeah. Oh, this for you, Ma. This for my mom, man. All them times I got suspended. <laughs> Fights in school. <laughs> So many girl arrested. problems. They getting arrested. Scarecrow Drug free school zone, still smoke flowers. Just to be cool, skip school six hours. I was on my own, you was working, I was wild. And then pops never showed me wisdom, only showed me power. So I was never coward, but I wasn't smart with it. Never had a gentle touch and broke a couple hearts with it. Possibly could die alone if my brain would start living. So I would often ask you the older I was getting. You told me I was blessed with the voice of a man's aggression. Always a slow your roll, cause patience leads to progression. Never look back on life, but always learn.
learn from them lessons and pray to God with confessions and hope that he take the stress away. Hope that he make a better way while working on a better me. Trying to go to college, make A's, then let us see. They say a woman can't raise a man on her own. What I'm saying, you the proof. Here's the truth with the song. Love you, mind. You work so hard. One night, two jobs. You didn't know that things would change. You didn't be better days and I would make a way for us. I worked so hard to get this far. Cause I knew that things would change and it'd be better days and I would make a way for us. Upstage dreams, cashier nightmares Shoulda never took the money, shoulda left it right there I was young and dumb and wanted to be accepted By friends that was neglecting me, pay them off, they don't leave Looking for some attention, just hoping that I receive Fighting and got suspended and now they think that I'm king uh, Never knew that I was hurting you in the process Stole, went to jail, made the news in the process Everybody in the whole school knew I got arrested but I never would have learned if I ain't get tested So I moved away cause in the shot I was restless in why in the summer hope I turn a new leaf College coming up in the fall and I will peak Hoping that you see nothing but A's come from me Well, we all know how that story went But I'm working with this music hoping that you can give me sense I love you, ma You worked so hard One night, two jobs Two jobs Changing it be better days and I would make a way for us. I worked so hard to get this far. Cause I knew that things were changing. It'd be better days and I would make a way for us. A lesson learned, cause a lesson taught. Now one day you'll leave this earth, but you never leave my heart. To that day I swore my purpose is working on how to pop. I said profit off promoting peace, no profit, but they quoting me from all the things you talked to me, all the things you said and did. Remember that first time when I first appeared? Did you think I was gonna end up like my father? Or did you pray that never happened to me? Well, baby girl, baby girl, it just happened to be that I'm falling and what my father or all that's what I happen to be. I think it's cause I seen the light, found a better way to write, a better way to do some right things. I cracked the ball out the diamond with the right swing. And I ain't worried about my time, and I'm a bright lean. And I'ma take the throne now, I'm a great king. And I'ma shine like the lightning, no matter what the fight brings. I work so hard to get this far. Cause I knew that things were changing, it'd be better days, and I would make a way for us. You work so hard to get this far. Listen, he was always there for me, like, he was always there. Ever since I was young, ever since I was young, my pops were never around like that, so it was my mom and pops. pops. And it came a time, time where in my life where you was my I was God. lost in, and you was my God. Scarecrow. You showed me the way to God. You showed me the way to God. <laughs> Things weren't ever the know. same after I got arrested. It's never gonna happen like it did. You though. moved. I felt like you was ashamed. So ashamed. So this is what I'ma do to release that pain and strain, baby. You never have to hurt again. It's never gonna happen again like it did. Never, baby. It's me and you to the world blow. <laughs> it's me and you, let's let the world know. Yeah, I love you, ma. Faith black now. Faith black now. Man.